Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. Did some thrifting over the weekend and I want to show you what I got and teach you a lesson about estate sales. So first I went and hit a couple of garage sales, found some fun things. Of course you know I'm always looking at vinyl albums. Got some good titles here. The Gambler there I've sold a couple of times. Waylon Jesse, Don Henley, those are in really good condition. Janis Joplin, can't go wrong with Janis Joplin. And Children's Stuff. Halloween records do really well. Found this fun looking vintage scale. I've sold a couple of vintage bathroom scales for uh, 20, 25 bucks. Should be able to do pretty well with that. Got a stack of games here. Only cost me a couple bucks a piece. These are all really good rank. The sequence is still sealed. Crazy good rank. Uh, paid $3. Be able to sell that for about 15 This I thought was really fun. This is from 1971. So it uh, predates the TV game show Wheel of Fortune. It actually has nothing to do with the show at all. Actually, it looks like a Monopoly ripoff when I look at the board. Um, I couldn't find any comparable sales or listings, I mean, on uh, eBay or Amazon, so it'll be fun to do a little research and see what I can get for that. Okay, this Abel Skivers is apparently a pancake maker. I paid $7.50 for the whole bundle here, and the actual um, device, the actual pancake maker, has a rank of 170,000 on Amazon with zero sellers right now. I only paid 750 for the whole mess. Uh, Film Splicer paid two dollars for that. Should be able to get 12, 15 bucks for it. Need for Speed for uh, PS3 paid two dollars for that. Nobody will sell it for 15. That's a really good rank in video games. Okay, this is fun. I paid 750 for a Hummer maintenance manual. Now I saw some sold listings on eBay for Hummer manuals. That sold for 150, 200, 250 bucks, but they were for civilian Hummers. This is for the military Hummer, and it is still sealed in plastic. Do you see that? So this has never even been opened. I have no idea what I'll be able to get for that, but I will set starting bid pretty high and uh, see where it goes. Okay, so after leaving the garage sales, I went to an estate sale. Now. I want to talk about estate sales for just a second. There's a couple different strategies that you can use going to estate sales. If you research it beforehand and you see specific items that you want to get, then you want to get there early on the first day and target those items. But understand that you'll probably pay a premium for them because they're just starting out the sale and so they're trying to maximize their profit as much as they can. If, however, you're just going shopping and you just want to go hit the sale to see what you can get, then what you should do is go on the last day because by then the um, people that are running the estate sale realize that they are going to have they're going to have to deal with everything that's left, um, which usually means getting a truck and hauling it away, either to Goodwill or the dump or you know another liquidator or something. Okay, whatever. They really would rather just sell everything they can at the sale. So on the last day of the estate sale, a lot of places are willing to make deals. So that's what happened to me. All right, I found some really cool stuff here. I love this old 10-day touch typing course, and actually, I'm sorry, I forgot to research that, so I don't know what I can get for it. Found a lot of fun books here. Got some science books, cooking books, monastery soups, Star Trek chronology. This thing here, this is um, My Life on the Plains by General Custer. This is a lakeside edition, and guys, if you see these lakeside editions, I've done really well with these. A lot of these lakeside classics, um, sell really well. This particular one has a rank of a million one, and um, there are no FBA sellers right now, and the lowest merchant fulfilled seller is at 40 bucks. Not bad, eh? More cool books over here, more vintage cookbooks, Seven Seas, Navy book, physics, more science books. So the books were uh, 50 cents for paperbacks, a dollar for hardbacks. Record albums are $2 a piece. Uh, Madonna, this is a 12-inch single. You guys know I don't do a whole lot of 12-inch singles, but it's sealed, right? So it should be able to do pretty well. Kenny Rogers' Greatest Hits I've sold a couple times. Julie London, she does really well. And this vintage aluminum um, wherever pot, you can see selling for six bucks or I bought it for six bucks there are several solds on eBay right now for uh, 25 30 bucks for that okay so this whole stack now because I was there on the last day and again I didn't go to look at anything specific I just stopped in to see what I could find um, because I was there in the last day this particular estate sale company was saying make your stack and then make us an offer so I piled all this stuff in one stack and I said how about 10 bucks? And they said, done. So I got all of this stuff for 10 bucks. So that is your lesson for today 
on estate sales. If you're just going to shop, go on the last day and be prepared to make a low ball offer. That is my haul for this weekend. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think and tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.